start, I just want to let everyone know, if there's any modifications that you need for your body throughout the class, please do so. Of course, we're doing this class at your own risk. If you know you have health considerations, make sure you have a doctor's consent um, to do this movement practice. Um, but otherwise, I'll be offering some modifications throughout the class. If you're new to Pilates, feel free. If something's too difficult, I'll try to give options. And I'll also try to give some more advanced options as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Hopefully everyone can hear me all right. I want you to stand at the bottom edge of your mat with your feet in a nice parallel position. And I'm placing about a fist width of distance between my big toes. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start to find my weight centered on the feet. We're gonna take a nice inhale to send the hips back as the arms go forward. Exhale, press the arms back as you look tall. Again, inhale to sit and wait. Exhale, press and lengthen the spine. Two more times here, inhaling down. Exhale to press. Last one, inhale down. And exhale, press. See if we can challenge our squat a little bit lower. We're going to bend down and stay. Holding for eight, seven. How much can you sink into the feet? Five, four, three, two, and one, and press up tall. One more time like this. Send the hips back, arms go forward. See if you can sink a little lower. Seven, six, hugging the core in towards your side. Four, three, two, and one, and press up tall. I'm gonna bend the knees and control all the way down towards the mat, using the hands at any moment if you need to to sit the hips on back, planting the feet. Reach your arms on forward. From here, we're going to start to carve the tailbone under. Glide the hips back. And lift back up. Again, rock the pelvis back. Trying to keep tension out of anywhere unnecessary. And lift two more times like this. Rocking your hips back. Curling the tail under. Finding your edge or challenge point and lift up. Finding your posture. Last time here, gliding back. And lifting up. I'm going to control now all the way down towards the mat. Curving back. Controlling, warming up that spine. And let your arms rest at your side. Bend the knees to pull the feet a little bit closer to you. From here, we're going to take a nice full breath and let the exhale float your right leg up to a tabletop position, shin parallel to the ceiling. Keeping the hips nice and stable, we're going to lift the left leg to join. Lower the right leg down without changing the pelvis and lower the left leg down. Take a nice full breath. Let the exhale pick up the left leg without changing the hips. Inhale to hold. Exhale, add the right leg. Feeling the ribs hug inwards. Control the left leg down. And control the right leg down. Let's do that a little bit quicker. The exhale will move the leg. Inhale. Exhale, right leg up. Deep inhale. Exhale, left leg follows. Inhale. Exhale, right leg lowers. Inhale. Exhale, left leg follows. Last time, leaving left. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale, right leg lifts. Inhale. Connecting the ribs, stabilizing the pelvis, left lowers. Inhale. Exhale, right leg lowers. Inhale to float the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, curl the head and neck up. Look at your hips. Are they flat to the ground or did you start to tuck the pelvis? Try to keep them flat if you could. Lift the arms and lower the head. Let's take that three more times. Inhale. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lift the arm, shoulders, stay up. Exhale, up. 
Inhale. Exhale, reach. Last time here. Exhale, curl. Inhale, arms curl. And exhale, lower. Down from here, let's bring the right leg to that tabletop position. Let the left leg lift to join it. Drawing the knees and ankles all the way together if you can, we're going to come into our Pilates 100. This is the first Pilates exercise to warm the spine. We'll take a breath in. Exhale, curl forward. This can also be done with the head and neck down. Legs can stay in tabletop, extend to the ceiling, or find a diagonal. We're going to pump our arms in. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Four. Five. Keep trying to curl up the shoulder blades. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more sets, nine. Last set. Hug the legs in. Turn the head heavy from side to side. Keeping those hands connected to the shins. Take a nice full breath. Let your exhale curl the head and neck up. Feeling a little compression for the low back. And stretch on down. Once more here, exhale up. And lower down, stretching the legs out flat on the mat. Let your arms float to the ceiling. We're going to come into our roll up here, flexing the ankles. Take a breath. As you exhale, nod the chin to the chest, curl up. You'll notice for me, my back's a little tight here today, stretching forward. This is why I'm going to use a small towel to place right at the hips for the small of the back. So I have something to pull into. We'll curl the tailbone under. Pulling the small of the back into the towel if you're using it or the mat and control on them. Let the arms go up and overhead. Big chest stretch. Inhale to lift the arms. Exhale, curl up, trying to articulate the spine as best you can. Point through the ankles, curl down, rounding through the back. Gliding back, 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 arms lift, feet flex. Inhale the arms forward. Exhale, curl up, stretching up and over the legs. Pointing through the ankles, roll down. If you want a greater challenge, try reaching your arms to the ceiling as you lower. Down, flexing the ankles. Inhale the arms forward. Exhale, round really bending through the mid-back. See if you can stretch a little further this time. Glide the tail. Controlling down the back. Arms raise, feet flex. Last time, inhale forward. Exhale, connecting. Reaching all the way forward, stretch. We're going to pulse forward for each. Stretching deep for seven. Six, belly pulls in, spine stretches forward. Four, and three, two, and one. Roll to sit up tall. Finding your posture. Fly back. Find your challenge point or edge. We'll inhale the arms up. Exhale, hug them close. Inhale, open. As you hug them close, you need to deepen the connection in the belly. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Last one, open. Exhale, close. Control all the way down, letting the arms rest at your side, removing your toe if you are using one. From here, let the right leg stretch all the way out and up to the ceiling. If your leg feels a little tight today, you can take this with a bent leg position. Otherwise, if your hips and legs are feeling okay, let it be long. Let's take the arms up to the ceiling. Turn the palms down, press down into the ground. Now, could you imagine a small belt around your ribcage to pull the ribs in from right to left? 
From here, the right leg's gonna cross the bottom. Press down to circle around. Inhale to lower the leg. Exhale, circle to lift. Let the goal be about keeping the ribs in and the pelvis stable. And four. Stretching all the way to those toes. The last one, five. Exhale, lift to stay. Reverse the circle out to the right. Exhale to lift. Inhale, open. Exhale, circle to lift. And two. Exhale, lift. And one. Exhale, lift and stay. Grab behind the thigh or calf, stretching the heel, giving the leg a little bit of open. Ooh, my leg is shaking today. Letting the arms release, reach the heel longer on the mat to place it down. Stretch your left leg up to floor. Feeling the thigh bone drop heavy in the socket. Find that little band around your ribs. From here, the leg will cross the midline. Exhale it. Inhale it. Exhale it. Going up. And lift. Twice more here. Finding as much mobility as you can with the minimal movement of the pelvis. And last time, lifting up tall, checking with the weight of the thigh bone and the connection through the ribs, reverse, opening, exhale, comes. and four, three, really let the exhale help you lift your leg by activating the abdominals, and one, exhale to lift. Flex the ankle, grab behind the thigh, or calf. Feeling the opening, using the arms for a little extra leverage, if you'd like. Feel the leg press into the hands, and the hands pull into the leg. Letting the arms return down to your side. Reach that left heel along to place it on your mat. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, nod the chin, reach and roll all the way up, stretching up and over the legs. And we'll roll to sit up tall once again. We're going to now enter into what's called the Pilates series of five. So in this series of five, we're going to work through five of the main abdominal exercises in the Pilates repertoire. Start by drawing your right leg in. I'm going to connect my left hand to the right shin, my right hand towards my right ankle. Now, just like we did in our roll-up, I'm going to try to control the spine down. Bring the leg towards you. When you need to, float the left leg up and control the spine down. I'm going to breathe in for a count of two. And then out for a count of two. Again. Try to reach your legs straight out like you're dotting a target. Be specific with where you're reaching. Could the arms pull into the leg and the leg press into the arms to help you lift the chest? We have four. And three. This can all be done with the head and neck down if you're fatiguing there. Two. And one. Have both legs in. Lower the head and neck down. Take the knees open for a little hip stretch. Coming into our single straight leg stretch now. Return the legs to center. Grab behind the thigh or calf of your right leg. Take a nice full breath. Let the exhale curl you off the mat. I'm gonna pulse the legs twice. One, two. And then I'm gonna switch them. Pulse, pulse, switch. Pulsing not just the leg you're pulling, but also the leg reaching to the ground. Can you keep deepening the belly's connection down into the mat? The legs rush right past each other. We have four, three, two, one. 
Hug the legs in. Resting for a moment. Coming into our double leg stretch. Hands find the shins. Curl the head and neck up. Lifting the spine. From here, reach the arms to the ceiling or for a greater challenge overhead as the legs reach out. Curving in. I'll show you the modification. Arms and legs go up. And in. Otherwise, for greater challenge, reach. And in. Again, reach. Circle in. Two more, reach. And in. Reach in a hold. Four, three, two, one. And in and rest down. Arms to the mat. The legs go up. Feel the ribs drop into the mat. From here, we're going to lower both legs down and out. Making sure we're not arching the low back. Find your edge. Flex the ankles. Control the legs up. Can you still keep that little belt on your rib cage? We'll point to lower. Flex, reach, and lift. Let's take four counts to lower the legs down and four to lift. One, two, three, four. Exhale up. One, two, three, four. Again, down. One, two. Bending the knees if the lever is too long. Exhale, lift. Two, three, two more sets here. Go down. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Last time, go down. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Hug it in. Our last one in this series is called crisscross. Let's roll ourselves up first and warm up our rotation. Bringing the feet mat width apart, flexing the ankles, taking our arms to a genie position. If the hips feel a little tight, you can bend the knees to sit up tall or fold your mat in half to sit up onto that. Feeling that nice high lift from your low back. Feel the core drop inwards. Take a rotation to your right. Could you keep your shoulders wide on your back when you rotate versus sinking them in and center? Twisting to the left. And center. Again, twist right. And center. And twisting left. Good. And center. We're going to take the hands behind the hip here now. We're going to go for a little roller coaster ride. Twist to the right. And curve the spine down towards your right arm. Now, could your left elbow lift to the ceiling as you look to the left? Then let the left rib cage lift you up. You should be facing left. Reversing that curve down to your left thigh. Rotate open to the right. Could you feel your right armpit lift you up? Let's take that again. Curve to your right thigh. Rotate open. Let the left armpit lift you taller. Last time at this pace, curve to the left thumb. Rotate open. Lift through the right armpit. We're going to take this at a little more free flow now. We'll curve down, rotate open, and lift. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Inhale. One more set down. Come back to center. Let your arms rest down for a moment. The shoulders a little roll. We'll bring the legs all the way together. Let the toes stretch forward. Arms reach forward. We're going to roll and control down to the mat. Now from here, let that right leg come in just like it did at the beginning of our series. Left hand to the right knee, right hand to the right knee. Good. Curl the upper body up. Finding that lift. 
float the left leg. Next, now from here, switch the legs once. And switch. And switch. Hug both legs in to lower down. So that will be our leg action. But we're going to take our hands and place them behind the head like we just did. Let your elbows come forward so you can see them in your side eye or purple gaze. We're going to add the rotation of the chest. So from here, draw that right leg in, send the left leg out. Curl the head and neck up. Instead of pulling the neck, could you feel the skull pull into your hands? Now from here, take your left armpit towards your right thigh. Could you lift your right shoulder blade off the mat a little more? Switch sides. Could you stay hovering, get that left shoulder blade off the mat and the mat, and switch sides. Again, we switch sides. And switch. And switch. One more set of each switch. Keep those shoulder blades lifting. And switch. And come to center, hug the chin. Then nice work. That is definitely the one of the Pilates exercises I believe is the most famous for your butt. It's called crisscross. We're gonna set ourselves up for an exercise now called rolling like a ball. Pull your hips closer towards your heels on the mat. Now from here, could you rock back and find your balance on your sitting bones or the space between your sitting bones and heel? How close could the heels be towards your body? Good, we're going to find the smallest ball that we can. Now from here, could you rock your hips back towards the tailbone just a little bit, trying to maintain that balance? And then lift up, could you stay balanced? For me, I have to remember to keep the tension out of my shoulders as I do this. Rock back a little bit. Feel the low back open as you transfer more of the weight towards the tailbone than your sitting bones. And lift up. You should feel those low abs really working here. Take a little rock back. Small rock. And lift. One more preparation here. Again, little rock back. Curve. Let your eyes look towards your belly button. Find your edge. Could you stay at your edge and take the pelvis back just a little further? And lift tall. Let's curve forward to relax for a moment. And rolling up tall. So that's our setup for rolling like a ball. Now we're going to do the actual exercise. In rolling like a ball, you're going to rock back to the bottom to your shoulder blade and then return back up. Find your seated balance here. Take an inhale. Let the exhale rock you back and return. Inhale. Exhale rock back. Keep your round shape. Could you maintain the same shape throughout the exercise? Heels as close to the bottom as is available. Lift your seat and return your head. At the bottom, could you feel your touch lift a little bit and return? Two more times. You rock back. Lift your seat. Round the back. Last one. Rock back, lift your seat. Let's take a little balance moment. Modified teaser. Hold your legs, reach your arms. Let's take a little circles with this. And three. Two. And one. If you're feeling ambitious, extend those legs. Three. Two. And one. Soles of the feet together. Give ourselves a little pulse down to the ground for eight, seven, six, and five. Four, three, two, and one. Rolling up tall. Bend your knees to plant the feet. And shift your hips back towards the center of the mat. Letting our hands park behind our thigh bones. Let the spine round. Just going to hang into my back almost like I'm in a hammock. And use the arms to lift you up. Let the upper spine take you back. And center. We're going to do that again. How much mobility can you find? Identify a space that feels the most reluctant to move, and could you try to send the movement into that space? Lift up tall on track. For me, my low back loves to be flexible and mobile, 
and my mid spine doesn't like to move quite as much. So I'm trying to send my effort into my mid back to get it a little more open. Let the arms assist and lift the upper spine up. And back. Last time here, just taking a little interlude. Using the arms, lead with the crown of the head, arch back. And center, let the legs extend out. Coming into our spine, stretch forward, arms reach forward. Lift as tall as you could through the crown of the head. Start to round the upper body forward. The ribs will reach back as the spine stretches forward. Roll to sit up top, lifting the crown of the head. Trying to reach the arms and the upper back in a way that your forearms and forehead could rest on the same table and sink. Roll up to sit up tall, lifting. Last time like this. Roll. All the way up, tall at the arms, stretch open, coming into our soft twist to your right. Let your left hand reach to your right foot, right arm reaches up. Reach back to lift up tall and twist to center, twisting left. Reach. Roll the tall, stay in that twist and center, twisting to the right. Shoulders are, or fingertips are reaching out in both directions. Curve Roll to sit up tall. Same idea. You try more mobility in a space that feels most relevant to you. Reach and curve Roll to sit up tall. And come to center a little quicker. We'll inhale. Exhale, reach. Inhale up. Exhale, center. Inhale. Exhale. In, exhale, again. One more set. Twist, reach and stay. Could you press your left hand into your leg? Try to pulse your ribs. Back, back, four, three, two, and one. Reach your right arm up towards that one. Lift it back up and open, and lift up tall, twisting to the left. Reach down, stay there, trying to pulse the ribs back, back. Five, four, three, two, pulse and stay there, lift your arms, stretch to it. Trying to peek underneath your arm. Let the arm lifting open you a little more. And come to center here, bringing the legs together. Point through the ankles, we'll control all the way down. And we're going to come into our bridging series, bending the knees to plant the feet. I'm returning to that hip distance apart, which generally speaking is about a fist width apart between the heels and toes. Arms rest at your side. Feel the shoulders, collarbones drift open. And we're gonna wrap our hips to connect the small of the back into the mat. Now continue to curl up, continuing to lift the pubic bone high and pulling the belly in deep. Find the height of your bridge for today. Could you feel your pelvis stretch further towards your heels, really turning on the back of the glutes and hamstrings? Now from here, we're going to try to soften one bone at a time back down to the, to the mat. Softening first the chest, and then our ribcage, and then the waistline, and the pelvis, and releasing at the bottom. We're going to take that again. Notice if you maintain even pressure through your feet. Rock to the pelvis. Curl the hips up. Feeling length from head to tail. 
hips stretch towards the heels. Now feel your feet. Are you rolling to your pinky toe or big toe? Could you feel the center of the heel? Big toe and little toe. Even. Could you feel that little ribcage belt that we established towards the beginning of the Feeling that, um, sustaining that connection to the back of the legs. Soften the chest, the ribs, the waistline, deep in the belly, pelvis, tailbone releases. Taking that once again, rock to the belly button, pull the small of the back in, curl the tail. You can stick with our regular bridge, or we're going to add on with a leg lift here, feeling that top of the tail. Take a nice full breath. As you exhale, your core stay connected as the right leg floats up. Holding for four, three, two, one. Place the right leg down, find two feet once again, pushing. Exhaling up the left leg. And three, two, or and place the leg down one more time. Inhale. Notice the hips change as you lift the leg. And three, two, one. Foot comes down. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg floats. Four, three, two, and one. Place the leg down. Float the arms up to the ceiling. Let them stretch to a high knee. Could you feel your hips reach to the heels and your fingertips reach in the opposite direction? We're going to tug the hips to the heels for eight, seven, pulling the sitting bones to the heels, five, four, three, two, pull and stay there. Keep the arms reaching as we roll down, feeling the stretch in two directions, fingertips to feet. Control the pelvis down, hug the shins in. Take the knees wide and let's stir them around. Inhaling and exhaling. Reverse the direction of their circles. Last time. Then we'll grab behind the thigh or cap and we'll roll ourselves up to seated. And we're going to come into a side line position here now. So I'm going to lie on my left arm. And I'm going to line myself up towards the back edge of my mat or the part of the mat furthest away from me. So you can rest on your bicep or your forearm, whatever feels most comfortable for your body. And really feel that the head, shoulders, and hips are in the wrong line. We're going to flex the ankles and kick the legs forward towards the front corner of the mat. From here, you can take the arm to the ceiling for the greatest challenge to the hips, or to rest in front of the chest. Now from here, I want you to stretch your right leg out so far that it floats off the mat. Checking in that your hip is staying long as you do this. And control it down. Outer thigh helps pull the leg out and up. You should feel natural resistance to the side of the leg. And pull it close. Inhale in. Exhale, pull. Last time, you're out and up. Exhale, pull. Reach out and up to stay. We're going to point through the ankle. Could you trace tiny circles? And three, two, and one. Reverse the circles. Four, and three, two. And one, flex the foot, reach longer and lower on. Down, resting for a moment. From here, reach the leg up and lift it up to get right. We're going to turn it out from the top of the hip socket. Turn the leg back to parallel. Reach out, turn out. Hip stays stacked when we give that thigh down and turn to parallel. Two more times here, turn out. Ribs stay stable, core stays connected and parallel. Fourth time here, turn out. And parallel, rest the leg down for a moment. Ooh, I thought that one pretty much, uh, quite a bit. Take a nice full breath. We're going to finish with our side kicks here. Reach the leg out and keep it 
Now, could you swing the leg forward and your mat without changing your balance? Point to press and reach it behind you. Flex, lengthen, and swing. Point, reach, and press. Flex, reach, and swing. Notice if your leg is lowering to the ground. Could you keep it at the same height? Reach back. Last time, flex and swing forward. Point and reach back. Keep the leg behind you. Tap it to the floor. Exhale. And three. Exhale. And two. Exhale. Last one. Lift and hold for three, two, one. Bring the leg forward. Place it down. Bend your knees in. Taking the right hand behind the head. Roll back into a twist. Feeling the hips and knees stretch forward as the spine stretches back. Trying to breathe into that stretch. And gently letting the right side return you back to center. We'll use the arms to press ourselves up into our mermaid sit here. Let the leg down. Lifting up tall, planting the hand down. Reach your right hip down as the right arm stretches up. Notice if you're curving forward. Could you be in a true side bend where the shoulders are stacked? Ribs are down. Pressing up and open. One more stretch. Feeling length from fingertips and grabbing through the left hip to enhance the sensation of the stretch. Open. And reach. Finding your side stretch. And lifting. Up tall, we're going to flip our hips over to come to lie onto our other side. Once again, lining the body up towards the back edge of the mat. Letting yourself rest on your forearm or back side. Feeling a flex of both ankles. This right leg serves as a kickstand as we perform the movement. Again, hands can reach, place, or rest. From here, stretch the left leg out so long that it floats off the mat. Good. Pull it back close, creating the natural resistance. Stretch out, lift up. And pull forward. Reach out to lift. Pull in. Last one, stretch up. Pull in. And rest a moment. We're going to come into that external rotation here now. Really feeling the turnout happens from the top of the thigh bone. Pelvis stays stacked, left leg reaches out to stay. We're going to turn out from the top of the hip socket, hip stays stacked. If your left hip still fully forward in space, back to parallel. Turn out. Parallel. Two more, turn it out. Parallel. Turn out. And parallel, point to the ankle, little circles, two, and three, two, and one, reverse, four, four, and three, two, and one, flex, and lower down to rest. When Joseph Pilates invented Pilates, he originally called it Contrology, so the science of controlling the mind and body. So how much can you control the movement? versus having your body naturally fall in and out of certain positions. We're going to go to that side kick here now. Flex the ankle, reach the leg out. From here, control as you swing the leg forward and down. Now point the ankle, press the leg behind you. Trying to negotiate that balance in your side line, swinging the leg forward. Notice if the leg has lowered, point and reach it back. Flex, lengthen, swing the leg. Find that freedom in the hip socket. The rolling of the ball and socket joint of your thigh. The last one, flex and swing. Keep that length and reach, reach, reach. Keep the height of the leg point and press. Behind you, keep it there, tap the foot. Exhale it, tap down, exhale it. 
and two, exhale it. Last one, exhale it, bring the leg forward, rest it down, bend your knees in and forth. Let the hands find the stop. Let the spine roll back. Feeling that left hip stretching long. Trying to send the breath into the back of the left rib cage. Trying to find the fullest breath that you can today. Slowly control out and pressing the body up. We'll find our mermaid side sit here using the left hand to pull the chin. Reach the right arm up and over. Ground into the right hip to stretch the right side and lift the left leg. And then anchor the left side of the pelvis. Shoulders are stacked, ribs are connected. Once again, bending up and over. To lift the tall nicely done. From here, let's bring ourselves forward to our all four position. Hands are below the shoulders, knees are below the hips. Now, if you have wrist issues, you can find fists pressing into the ground. From here, we're going to arch the head and tail up to the ceiling. Feeling that tuck of the tail, go round the back. Then reverse, lift the head and tail. Again, curl the head and tail. And reverse, articulate the head and tail up to the ceiling. We're going to take that two more times. Let's return to this idea of sending the mobility to the space that feels most reluctant to move. Curve the back. Identify where it feels the tightest. Could you send the mobility to that space? And reverse. Last time of each, arch, up, belly hugs in, ribs float to the ceiling, and reverse. Coming to center, could you feel the head, shoulders, and hips in one long line? From here, we're going to reach the right arm forward, keep a firm press into that left hand. Could you push the earth away? And draw it back. Pressing into the right hand, reach the left arm. Head and tail stay in one long line. Notice if you shifted more of the weight into your right leg. Could you stay even? And center. Sending the movement to the legs. Reach the right leg back. Are you pushing the earth away with both arms? And center. And send the left leg back, push into both arms. Stay on the center of your right kneecap. And center, press your hips back to find our shell stretch. Feeling the tailbone heavy, arms reaching away. We'll shift on forward. We're going to come into an opposite arm and leg reach here now. Finding that all fours position. Feel the scruff of your neck lift to the ceiling. It'll almost feel like a double chin position. Now from here, could you send your right arm and left leg out? Trying to keep the shoulders and hips squared off to the ground. And come to center. Sending the right leg, left arm. Keep the core going, keep pushing through the hand, and center. One more time of each, reach out, feeling that alignment, finding that control. And center. The last one, reach, right leg, left arm, stabilizing. 
and center. Open the knees wide and press back into your chest. Could you feel your armpits wrap down towards the ground? Tailbone drift back towards the heel. And we'll control all the way down to our belly here now. Letting the legs rest long behind you. And we'll take the hands up. Take them about right below the shoulders. If your shoulders feel a little tight, you can go wider on the mat or further forward on the mat. We're going to come all the way down, letting the head and nose be covering the up off the mat. Now, let your eyes slowly look forward. Now, we shouldn't really feel any weight into the arms quite yet, but you continue to lift your eyes and continue to lift with your back muscles. Now, I don't necessarily mean the lower back muscles, trying to feel the work in that mid and upper back while keeping the hips pressing into the mat. How high could you lift with your back muscle? And then lengthen to lower down. Uh, again, the eyes will leave, hips stay heavy. My back lifts me and the mat. But I can without the arms. Check if the arms are doing work. Place them back down and lengthen back down. Let's do that one more time. The eyes will leave. Spine peels back. Could you find a heavier lift? Take the hands away. Check in. Notice if your low back is trying to do all the work. If that's the case, lower down a little bit and see if you can find more mobility in the upper back. And lower down. Coming now into our swan. Lead with the eyes and back. When that can no longer lift you up and you shall not start to press into the palms. Feeling that float of the chest. Finding the height of your swan today. You might only be here and that's okay. Pressing into the palm. Crown of the head lifts up. Stretch the chest forward as the elbows pull back. Pull it all the way down. Once again. I lead, spine follows. The back lifts you. The arms press. Notice if the shoulders are coming up to the ears. Could they drop heavy down the neck? Stretch the chest forward, lengthen to lower. On down two more times. Your eyes lead. Feel bending the neck. Stretch forward and lower. Down. The last time here, eyes lead back, chest lift. Could you feel the blow belly hug in and up a little more? And stretch to lower all the way. Down, flex your ankles. Could you press up into a plank position, holding for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one, pike the hips up into our up stretch. And start to walk your feet forward to your hands. Bending the knees if you need to. From here, slowly roll the spine up, curling the tailbone under. Stack the spine up tall, reach your arms side and high. Turn the palms to face forward. Curve and round your spine down. Notice if your weight is shifting back. Could you keep it centered on your feet? Once the fingertips touch down, tuck the tail under, roll right back up. I'm going to take this three more times. A little more flowing. Inhale up. Exhale, curl forward. Weight stay center on the feet. Roll to come. Up. Inhale up. Exhale, curve. Could you mobilize your back? How much of the spine could you move? Roll to stack up tall. Could you feel yourself getting taller and creating more space in your spine with each repetition? Curving forward. Curl the spine, rounding. And rolling up tall. The last one here. Inhale, beyond that. Exhale, curve forward. Roll down. And roll to step up. 
tall, taking a giant step back, find the back end of your mat. We're going to come into our Pilates push-up. If you're not wanting to do push-ups today, or that's not necessarily in your repertoire, um, you can hold a plank for the duration of this. We'll inhale both arms up. We'll exhale, curl the spine forward. Our hands get to walk out in four steps. One, two, three, four to find your plank. Now, from here, inhale to bend the elbows. Exhale, press up. Two more, inhale, bend. Exhale, press. One more, bend. Exhale, press. Walk the hands back, four, three, two, and one, and roll up top. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, curl forward. Lead with the left hand this time, walking out, one, two, three, Four, again, plank or push-ups. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push. Keeping the shoulders as wide as you could. Exhale, push. Walk back. One and two, three and four. Roll the spine up. Tall from here. Reach the arms up. Curl the spine all the way down. Walking out one last time. One, two. Three and four, and I'm going to come down to my forearms to find a forearm plank. Pressing through both arms, hold for eight. Neck is long, seven. Six, put your hips a little lower, five. Four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee. Press back into your shoulder. Feeling the shoulders. Pour the weight into your hips to slowly roll all the way up to seated. And we're going to go ahead and return down to our backs. And we're going to finish with a small hamstring stretch. If you did bring a towel with you today and you know you're a little tighter, this would be a great aid for our stretch. Letting the body rest down onto the mat. The left leg can be bent if you're feeling a little tight or stretched all the way out. And we're going to take the right leg up to the ceiling and you can grab behind the thigh of the cow or if you have a towel and are wanting a little more assist, you can loop the foot into the towel. I'm going to use my towel here today. Finding a flex of the foot, let the arms pull the leg towards you. And then ease off. Exhale, pull the leg towards you. And ease off. Two more times here, pull. And release. And pull. And release, pull the leg towards you. Stay here for a few breaths. Feeling the leg and the arms connect. And then gently bending the knee. We'll switch legs here, bringing the left leg up. Again, right leg can be bent or flat. You can use a towel or the arms. I'll take the arms for this time. Inhale to pull. Exhale, release. Again, pull. And release. Pull and pull. And reach up. Last time. And release. And pull to stay there. Sending the breath into the back of the muscle. Feeling the core, having shoulders drop heavy. Softening the leg towards you. Let's connect both chains and rock up to our seat position. Now we're going to finish with our last power or challenge move. Our full Pilates teaser. Reach the arms forward, rock the pelvis back, float both shins up. Staying in our modified teaser if you'd like, or extending the legs and reaching the arms, holding eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Control the legs down, stretch up and over the legs. Let's pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, 
And one roll to sit up tall, tall, tallest. Bend the knees, park the hands behind the thighs. Take a stretch up and back, ending with a sensation of extension in mind. Head and shoulders open. Coming back to center. One more time like that, using the arms. Upper back extends up, open back. And center. Well, thank you all for showing up today to class here on New Year's Day. Happy New Year's. Um, if, you, if you are joining us and you're interested in more information about our 12, um, the 12 Days of Pilates Transformation Challenge, there is information posted on the link um, on this video here. And we will also have this link available for replay throughout the month if you're interested in taking the class again or using this class as one of the ways to participate in the 12, um, the challenge that we have, the, Pilates, the 12 Days of Pilates Transformation Challenge. So we'd love to see you in the studio space. If you enjoyed your time here today too, we'd appreciate if you wanted to do any Google reviews or any even Facebook reviews of the business. But I hope that you have a blessed and happy new year and we'll be excited to hear how everything goes with your Pilates Transformation Challenge. Thanks again for joining in today.